killing it. What's up, guys? Look who I got today. <laughs> What's up? Man, we is in Snowmageddon right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man, Mikey picked me up. He said he wanted to show me how this uh, plow works. We driving the 2019 Ford F-250, right? Yep, 2019 Ford. Man, he got he got all the good toys in here too. Look at this. What what in the world? The joystick? Man, he, <laughs> he got all these auxiliaries up here. He's working out. Man, this is... I like these Ford trucks, man. They're doing a good job, man. We did a review on this truck a while ago. And yeah. oh, did, oh, they, they, are, they spun out. Oh, dang. Somebody just spun out. Yeah, if you are out and about, be careful. I mean, we got some inclement weather. And man, and I gotta go take a number two, so I'll be right back in a second. Oh no! <laughs> he can make it, he can make it, he can make it. He almost didn't make it. Why would you bring your sports car out in this? Going Jeez. Up, going up the hill. Going up a hill too, of all things, man. All right guys, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna build a Chevy, a Ford, and a Ram truck to see who has the lowest price work truck and the features that they have. Now every truck, we got an option with off-road tires, four-wheel drive, snow package, highest actual ratio available, auxiliary switches, power windows, door locks, keyless entry, rear defroster, and a spray and bed liner. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be the Chevy regular cab. Long bed is the only option for the regular cab. Let's keep moving forward. Four-wheel drive system we have to have included. So 6.6 .6 liter gas. We're only gonna go with the gas engines and it's only available with a six-speed transmission. So this is kind of like second place in a sense compared to the other trucks. We're gonna stick with the red paint. And it's gonna have the black vinyl seats right here. And next is packages. So we have to go with the work truck convenience because it does have the power windows and then remote keyless entry. And it's gonna have to have the safety convenience group because it has cruise control. I did not mention that, but we definitely have to have cruise control. Off-road package, this is gonna have the off-road tires. And moving on down, snow plow prep. It's gonna have the 220 amp alternator and the skid plates. So 373 axle is the only axle ratio available. And if you want the 342, you have to go to diesel. All right, so here's the upfitter switches. Upfitter switches is under interior. And that's pretty much everything that we need, guys. So we got everything we wanted. Uh, I would probably choose to have all of the floor mats. Um, I did not see those on here. But if you go under accessories, I mean, Chevy has a ton of features. And yeah, I don't see that they have all of the floor mats, but not a big deal. But let's get back to the video. And one thing I've learned, if it's snowing like this, stay your behind home. She, I don't normally come out in weather like that. I normally stay in. I don't have to go out, but and this is crazy. It's like a blizzard. It, it really is. Dude. It's like a blizzard. Man, Mike, you got all these lights on. Look at this. So far, we haven't seen any accidents. So that's a good thing. We're heading over to Thermal right now. Mikey's got to go do some plowing over there, so I'm going to get you guys some good footage. Lady, you got to stay in your lane. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over, lady. Come on over. Go ride in the muck. I don't think you know where she's at. Is he stuck? I doubt it. He's probably just out there chilling. Oh, man. Looks like somebody spun out, guys. Dang, that sucks. That's a bad day. <laughs> and it, that's a rear wheel drive car. Why would it be driving? That's a, uh, oh. a cop car. It's like a Grand Marquis or something. Like yeah, that. that is. A Grand, a Grand Marquis or Crown Victoria. Alright, we are in Thermont. About to pass by Criswell. Big shout out for letting me do videos at your store. Yeah, the roads are bad. Check this out. I mean, they're plowing, but I mean, the snow is coming down too fast. All right, guys, let's go ahead and configure this 2021 Ford F-250. Now, the very first thing I want to show you, regular cab eight-foot box. 
paint options right here. Now, if you would like the Velocity Blue, you have to go for the STX appearance package. We are on the budget, so we're gonna skip that. I do like this carbonized gray, however. Powertrain, you have three engine options. You have the 6.2, you have the 6.7 Power Stroke, and you have the Mighty 7.3. This is my favorite engine option of all the heavy duty trucks. It does come with a 10 speed transmission. Unfortunately, we're on a budget. This is two grand we can't afford, so we gotta stay with the 6.2. Unfortunately, it does come with a six speed transmission. Four wheel drive system, it's gonna be 2790. Now, as far as rear axles go, we gotta go with the highest axle ratio at 430. So Ford does have the highest axle ratio in the segment. Ford does offer a 9,900 pound GVWR package for the three quarter ton trucks. And let's just scroll on down. We definitely want off-road package. This is gonna give us those upgraded tires. And then here's everything else that's gonna come available in that package too. Includes hill descent control, off-road special tuned suspensions, uh, transfer case and fuel tank skid plates. And then you have some decals. Moving on down, we gotta have power windows 865 give you power windows power door locks for that package there and a few other things actually too feel free to pause if you like snow pile prep package and then snow pile and camper package we're going to click this one because it's cheaper and it does upgrade the front suspension and it gives you a rear stabilizer bar so this is the better package now the snow pile prep package is only going to give you a 240 amp alternator moving on down we are going to click this and i'll show you why in a second as far as the exterior goes all we need is a spray and bed liner and that should be everything here. We're gonna go with the dual battery too. And LED clearance lamps. Ford does offer strobes from the factory. PTO, this might be a good option if you would like to have it for a snow plow. And remote start, we're on a budget, so $245 or $250 is what we can't afford right now. We have to skip that. And as far as that goes, it should be everything, guys. So let's go ahead and go to the interior. All right, guys, so we are in interior right now. So when you get that XL package that you saw, cruise control comes with that package. So we did add that, and it did give you the chrome bumpers too, just to keep that in mind. Now, as far as carpet delete, you can get that too. I probably would do that. And that should be everything that we need guys oh last things auxiliary switches and we are 100 good to go all right let's get back to the video Last but not least, 2021 Ram 2500 Tradesman. We're gonna select four wheel drive, regular cab, eight box. Now, the only two engines available for this truck is a 6.4 Hemi and a 6.7 Cummins. If you wanna get the high output, you have to go to a one ton. So you do get an eight speed. So this is the best setup out of the three trucks without having to spend more money for the Ford to get the 7.3. You can get a 410 axle. Now that will give you the anti-spin 
So we're gonna click on the Snow Chief package and I'll show that to you guys in a second. And it's gonna upgrade your wheels from a 17 to an 18. And that's pretty much it. Moving on down, you can get electronic shift on the fly transfer case. And if you would like to have the dual alternators, 380 amps, I probably would just click this package, but we're on a budget. So, hey, that is available for RAM. Toe hooks, we're gonna click this just below. So protection group's gonna give you the skid plate and it's gonna give you the tow hooks. That Snow Chief package that you guys saw, this is everything included. So you're gonna get the auxiliary switches, clearance lamps, all that good stuff. Moving on down, we have to click on the Tradesman Level 1 Equipment Group because we need power windows, power door locks, and those things come available with this package at $9.95. Now, Ram does something pretty unique. They do give you low volume colors. They have some pretty cool colors for this truck, guys. And they're the only manufacturer that does this. I'm pretty sure you can probably do something from the factory with the other ones, but they don't list it on their website. So it may be something you have to do in person. So we're gonna go with some funky color. This is a pretty cool color right here, orange. And actually this is called school bus yellow, by the way, sorry, school bus yellow. Don't get it twisted, that's not orange. This might be burnt orange right here. There you go, that's the color right there. Now clearance lamps were available with the Snow Chief. And the last thing we need is a spray in bed liner. So that was 565 just below. And that should be the last thing that we have to click on guys. So it does have that Uconnect 3 small screen, but hey, it gets the job done. It's a work truck, right? Now, I don't know if the truck doesn't have speakers. So we're gonna click this, I don't know. We're gonna just click six speakers. So we have speakers in the truck. And that should be it, guys. It is coming down, coming down. That's ice, oh gosh. All right, guys, we're about to go up some grade here. We're gonna see what this Ford truck can do. Six percent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what these tires. What kind of tires on here? Missions. Horrible, mm. horrible tires. <laughs> but you know me, I would out of them wear around before I get put some new ones on. You get the nettles. Yeah, get some nettles. But look, look at the edge, bro. You want, you want that mountain? Uh, that's just dangerous. Yeah, he came by a couple of times when I did it, like the last episode. Yeah. I think it was December the 16th. Yeah. And he just kept hitting it. Kept hitting it, because you down the hill. Yeah, you don't want to slide down there. Oh my God. That's a closed casket right there. We don't want to fall down there. I want my baby to see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous, bro. This is dangerous. Jeez. Look at the incline on And then we keep going up and oh. going up and up. The truck ain't sliding though. No, it's good. It's, the truck's pretty good in the snow. Alright, here we go. How's that turn coming up? So, uh, let's see. You should see some mailboxes on the left hand side. It's right here. Alright, cool. It's our destination. We have reached our destination. <laughs> Look at this right here. This is crazy. Bro. Oh, we gotta go a few more? Yes. Oh my god. Dang. You guys see this? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> he just dropped the fly down. We were slipping a little bit. Okay, so I was very surprised by the results here. Chevy is the most expensive work truck that you can purchase. Now at 42,435. That is all in with options and features. Now the packages and options added to the base price, $2,890. The Ford came in second place. I thought they were gonna be the most expensive truck. They came in at 42,240. With packages and options, 35,25, destination at 16,95. Now again, these are included in this 42,240. Ram came in the cheapest all in with options and features, but it was the most expensive for packages and options behind the Ford. So all in all guys, I don't know which truck I would choose at this price point. I mean, they're pretty similar. So here's what I'm gonna do. If I had $3,000 to get to that $45,000 range, or let's just say 45 to 46, 
I would say that Ford would be first place, and here's why. The engine option that I would choose is a 7.3. That'll put me in the price point here for this truck. And this is by far the best gasoline engine available. Now, second place is gonna be Ram. Ram does have the 6.4 with eight speed. So I do like that aspect, but I love the 10 speed. I love the 7.3. I think it has great power. And I feel like that engine with that 430 axle would just pull like crazy. Now, I do like the safety group. The other trucks don't offer some of the same features. Now, what I like about this package is the fact that you get the cluster, which is a seven inch display and the gauges. This will at least show you the temperature of your transmission. I like the idea of having that just to make sure you don't overwork your transmission in your truck, especially if you're plowing or working hard on your truck too. And last but not least, Chevy, although it's third place, they have this Alaskan snowplow special package. And look what comes with it. It gives you a 10,450 GVWR, and it gives you the bed liner, and check out everything else that's included. You also get these black 18 inch wheels that will just make a work truck look pretty amazing, in my opinion. So I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, but at the end of this video, guys, be sure to look at the rest of the footage that we got while we were snow plowing. Truck's slipping a little bit.